All caution to you. The real reflection of you. Just got out of the shower. Cold shower this morning. Nothing like it. Nothing wakes you up. But the funny thing is, is that I have had this like schedule where I don't sleep at normal times. Because, well, I'm not a normal person, so that makes complete sense. Well, maybe I am a normal person. And maybe normal people are actually not supposed to sleep whenever they want to. Versus this whole conditioned bullshit ass you're supposed to wake up at 6 in the morning and go to sleep at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. I don't, I don't know. But, anyways, that's not what the purpose of this is. Or is it? Maybe that's all the purpose of this is. I'm about to go do some yoga right now. Just came back from a walk earlier while listening to some Mr. Kanye West. Closed my first deal for NT Syndicates LLC, which I'm really excited and proud of. It's the beginning of a new era in influencer marketing, truly. And yeah, man, breathing a lot like clearer. I've been noticing more and more how by being with myself and not focused on anyone else. And when I say not focused on anyone else, I mean like distractions. That's this whole time has really forced me to confront or forced. Yeah. I've decided to confront a lot of things while in this whole situation. And I like that. Take it right now, putting on some clothes. I really like that. It's like. It's refreshing. It's liberating. It's freeing. I'm so grateful to be with my family. So grateful to be with my family and to really build things here. I was once told and it, a concept in yoga that we that we teach or that I was instructed in, and then I passed this message along to you, is that we must root to rise. And it's funny because I was like for the longest time, like what the fuck do you mean we must root to rise but as i thought about it more and more and i started to apply it i'm just checking out these flowers check these flowers out by the way aren't they beautiful so beautiful spring is in bloom right now they're like incredible absolutely incredible i love you flowers but to root to rise, to me, what I've found more and more what it means is that in yoga, obviously, like if you're doing any balancing poses and balancing poses can be really challenging and I'm about to practice right now, my practice, but balancing postures can be very challenging because well, you got to balance and balance means you got to really root your feet into the floor. And that's why I bring so much more attention and awareness. I, t I talk about this in a few different videos, but like, how are we placing our feet on the ground? How are we rooting into the floor when we're walking? I've noticed that I like, I walk kind of on the outsides of my feet historically. Um, and now I'm putting a lot more focus on the balls of the foot, like the, the bone from the ball of the foot all the way towards the big toe and really focusing more on kind of pressing down more there, at least as it relates to my feet it also changes my posture and the alignment of my spine which just goes to show that it's all the small things that it's when you root your feet into the ground in a specific manner it changes the posture and alignment of your whole body i've noticed that i would have lower back pain quite a bit and i would say part of it and i still do have it to some degree um, part of it comes though to the lack of properly placing the foot on the ground in other words, the alignment of the bones are not proper. So root to rise also what I found that means for my kind of my personal life, my business life is that, look, you need to deal with your. You need to deal with yourself at home first. In order to really grow and expand. And I've been finding that more and more, right? Like I come home. And in early April. And I noticed there's a lot of things in, in the house that could definitely be either use repair 
it could um, be, I don't know, improved in some way, shape, or form. Which means, obviously, that there's a noticing of that there's some type of uh, disarray, disorder, if you will. When there's disorder, it's obviously not comfortable. When there's chaos, like, no one likes chaos to begin with. But one must reorder the chaos in order to create a new order. Or they need to, or one must work in the chaos in and of itself to create a new order. So, simply observations, you know? Simply observations. And I'm finding myself rooting in my disciplines, rooting in my family life. I, I'm so grateful to be at home with my parents and my brothers. I love them so much. I love them so much. I love this moment so much. One of my mentors, AZD, has inculcated this saying within me. That being that every day, in every way, all is getting better and better. And the more I repeat it now and every moment in the future, the more I'm reminded of its potency and how that saying continues to be true and manifest in my life. Keep up, thrive, stay sexy.